This video is a special one. I'm going to be interviewing some mods from AQ3D and AQ Worlds. Our first guest is Sweet Vane. She's a moderator on AQ3D and AQ Worlds. First question, what is your favorite color? <laughs> My favorite color is gray. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. How long have you been a mod? I've been a moderator in AQW for almost three years and on AQ3D for almost two years. Wow. Um, how long did you play the game or how long did you play AQ Worlds before you became a mod? Um, I think I started playing 2012. Holy. Uh, so what is it that you like about AQ3D? AQ3D has an interesting community. Everyone is so chill back and um, very welcoming. I love PvP. Yeah, you do play PvP a lot, don't you? A lot, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah, but because sometimes I have penalty um, checking reports, so I use some of my alts just to, you know, a little bit easier play as a regular player. <laughs> right, right, yeah. So what is it you don't like about AQ3D? I'm so bad at parkour. So every time there's a parkour quest, I'll be doing it all over again. And sometimes <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow. I mean like that. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so what would you like to see added or changed in the game? We like more story to do, you know, um, like... The new god, they're working on it and we're looking forward for that one. It would be nice to have that one and some more items. I'm still trying to find a nice set for my character. Oh. Or maybe I just don't know which one are the best ones. <laughs> <laughs> if you could have one pet in the game, what would it be? Definitely the Ducky Ducky. I have it though, so I'm so happy. <laughs> nice. I, I love Psyduck, so it's the closest one I can get on AQW and AQ3D. I mean, in AQW, um, they don't have a duck, but they do have the evolved form of Psyduck. Oh, Golduck. Yeah. Yeah, Golduck. Yeah, they have the Golduck. Okay. And then in AQ3D, they have the Ducky Ducky. <laughs> okay. It's so cute. <laughs> it is, yeah. These next questions are from players. And some of these are directed to developers, so I won't ask any of those. Here's a funny player question. What is the meaning of life? What is the meaning of life? That's what Copra. <laughs> okay. That's a tough one. The well, <laughs> meaning of life is, I think, is being happy, doing what you love, caring for other people, and especially caring for yourself. Nice. That is a good response. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Here's someone who's asking. Zyber is asking, is there any auto mod or auto ban system when someone writes specific words? And then he, he goes in to say there is a profanity filter option in the game. Does it mean we are allowed to chat with friends using those words or are we not allowed? Will we get a mute if we do so? That's kind of a, a two for one we all check all the chat logs manually we read all of them every single report that all the players sent which is we're very grateful for those who actually contribute you know helping this community become really a nice community for everyone sending reports is really one thing we appreciate so we read all of that so in terms of the profanity yes there is profanity people can filter that but it also depends on what you say. Sometimes there's like racial comment, which even if it is filtered, you shouldn't be using it. So that could get you muted. Oh. Or people who's very lewd, we don't allow those kind of stuff. Okay. So from what it sounds like, all mutes are done manually. Yes. Okay. Um, this next one here in dual matches this is from the same person in dual matches. Sometimes we use banter quote quote. Is it allowed in game? 
it depends depends how it is you know if you're really harassing someone even even if it looks like it's a banter but you know you're offending someone already then we'll have to really um analyze it and and see the balance of is it really a banter or is it ha an a harassment so ah. we go from there it's all case to case basis there are glitches in the game like being able to get out of bounds or visual glitches or something like that like blue flames or something do these break rules if you check the support page it is said there that discussing about glitches are mutable so we follow those guidelines on how we mute every report that we receive okay so i guess context kind of plays a role mm -hmm. in that sort of yeah um then he says here not really a question but would you guys the moderators in the community event help moderate the ongoing stuff because organizers will get their hands full with their job arranging the event and sometimes they have hard time with the contestants would moderators help moderate that function if if um we are free and you know the one who's hosting the event approaches us um like can you help us on this day we're gonna have this event if we are free we're we're happy to help all right well thank you for your time thank you so much our next guest is a moderator from AQ Worlds. This is Nis. First question, what is your favorite color? It's a bit of a tie, but I like the uh, the purple, the, like the good old chaos purple. <laughs> ah, okay, chaos purple. How long have you been a moderator? Um, a bit over a year now. It's, it's worn by. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. And how long did you play the games before you became a mod? Oh man, just AQW or AE games in general though? Just AE games in general. I started Dragon Fable in 2008. Whoa. So what is it that you like about AQ Worlds? For starters, one thing that, that kept me like coming back was all the friends that I made. I made a ton of friends, some that I still talk to to this day even. Wow. I, I have friends that I've that I've known for over eight years because of AQW. Oh my goodness. Um, I, I I guess what I'd say is the social aspect. That's probably my favorite part of it. It's okay. it's fun to meet all kinds of new people. So what is it you don't like, or what what do you not like about AQ Worlds? One thing I don't like is farming because I'm lazy. <laughs> 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 it's so hard for me to farm things. It takes me so long. I'll just like inch my way across that finish line. <laughs> it okay. takes so long. Yeah, so some of the grind is really... Yeah, I'll just like grind a little bit every day. Just so I don't have to like grind a whole bunch in one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually the same way, yeah. So if you could have something added or changed in the game, what would you like to see? A lot of the changes I wanted are already like implemented, especially with like the addition of Spider and the whole uh, extra added menus in the new launcher. Wow. That, that changed a lot of that, things. Yeah, I, I completely agree. So how did you become a moderator? I haven't applied before, so this was my first time applying. I always wanted to help out with, you know, AE stuff. And uh, I saw that they're doing a moderator call and I was like, you know what, I'll try my hand at it. You know, see if I can help support the game that I enjoyed. If you could get a pet, in AQ World, what would it be? It's gonna be a sappy one. I had a childhood dog, loved him to death, and honestly, it would be him. I name every pet that I cherish in a game. If there's a way to name a pet in a game, I'll name it after him. Wow. <laughs> so it'd <be> him. <laughs> that is so cool. So, what would you tell somebody if they were interested in becoming a mod? For starters, don't get in trouble. <laughs> don't get in trouble. Don't uh -huh. do anything bad. Okay. Be, be careful there. <laughs> um, but the next thing is, don't get disparaged if you don't make it in the first time. I know a few people who have who have been trying for it for a, for a hot minute. The biggest thing that you could mess up for yourself is kicking yourself while you're down. Always, you know, pick yourself up and try again. You never know. You never know if you're gonna get it or not. You know. 
that wow. sort of thing. Yeah. Like keep keep pushing yourself forward. That is good advice. <laughs> and last but not least, is being a moderator stressful? It can be at times. Um, it's it's a lot of fun because you also get to help support the game. You know, keep it safe for everybody. But it can be a little bit stressful because sometimes people they they can be a little unkind. Because you're the ones that are policing the game. Exactly. Right. Okay. It's like, you know, we're all just here to keep the game safe and fun for everybody. Right. That's good. Well, perfect. So thank you very much for answering those questions. Anytime. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Our next guest is Jalel. He's a moderator from AQ Worlds. He's also a moderator known as Mystagon in AQ3D. First, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is actually purple. Any shade of purple except dark purple. Okay, so next one. How long have you been a moderator? I have been a moderator for about, we are in May, um, 14 months. Now, is that for AQ Worlds or AQ3, uh, yeah. AQ3D? AQ Worlds. That is the, yes, yeah, so I was hired on as an AQ Worlds moderator. Um, so yeah, that, that is my total time as an AQ Worlds moderator. Uh, for 3D, I've been a mod for a little bit over a month. I think approaching more so two months. Oh, okay, nice. Um, how long have you played the game before you became a mod on AQ Worlds? I actually am a founder. So I've been playing AQ Worlds specifically since 2008. Um, and I oh. actually started a games, I think, now this part I wouldn't quote on, I'd say probably around 2005 with Adventure Quest. So what is it that you like about AQ Worlds? I like the, the uniqueness of it, honestly. Um, it, it's something that's easy, the side-scrolling point-and-click uh, quest turn in, you know, uh, battling monsters. Uh, I, I guess more so the uniqueness of how combat is. You don't have okay. classes that are side-scrolling, clicking animation-wise, you know? Right, right. What do you not like about AQ Worlds? The fact that there's so much things that come out every week. I feel like we're overfed and some of the items that have come out like say a week or two ago no longer have that attention that people spend a lot of time and effort on creating ah okay that is a very good point so what would you like to see either added or changed in aq worlds i would say more focusing on the in-game factions um we have legion we have uh Nolgith, um and I would say probably, and this one might get a lot of hate, is that the Holoborn, which are the corrupted versions of both of the factions combined, seeing them get like more in-game content, like a Holoborn class um, and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, I would say definitely another thing I would like, and that they already actually are doing, but I didn't make it in-game, is that uh, we'll take example of Chunin or Chunin, however you want to say yeah, it. I don't they even say that. They took that from the AC birthday event class and they put it for Yokai Rep, mm. the same class, but renamed. I like that. And I believe that at the end of every main saga, there should be a specific saga class for rank oh. 10 rep, giving players more initiative like Master Ranger, Chunin, uh, Blaze Binder, and stuff like that to grind towards in that saga. Nice. That is actually really neat. I would love to see something like that added. How did you become a moderator? Um, well, I have been applying for many years since I turned 18, um, constantly stalking down Sorda Hoshi's Twitter. <laughs> um, and one day I got the, uh, the, tw like the notification from Elena that they were doing an open call back in March of 2021. And, uh, I just immediately applied for it. Okay. So if you could get a pet in AQ worlds, what would it be? That is a good question. I think I would have to go for a cockatoo that would have a specific animation of both flying and landing on your shoulder. Because I, I love cockatoos. Oh. That's, or there is another one, a kookaburra. Kookaburras are the most adorable bird in the world. I have heard songs about that, but I have not ever seen one. Okay, let's do some player questions. How long, or this is from King Werepire. He's curious how long on average the mods play their mod accounts 
versus their regular accounts if they have one? Okay. Yeah, actually, that's a pretty good question. Um, I can't speak for every moderator. So when I, I say this, I'll speak for just myself. I actively play every day on my moderator account. I do the releases, the farming, and all of them. And um, I've had several accounts before I became a moderator. So I've kind of dumbed it down a little bit. And I have my main account that I both do at the same time as my mod account. Kind of like questing buddies. Ivory Dragonus is curious if using a PC versus a mobile device makes it more difficult to moderate. I actually do not uh, use my phone to play the games. I have played Puffin um, a couple times when, oh, mainly yeah, yeah. when the IODAs came out, you know? Okay. And I was so excited to get one that I was at work and I hid in the bathroom, downloaded Puffin, and I got on to get it on and put it on because I finally got what I wanted. <laughs> um, so when it comes to using the moderation tools, I would say it, it would probably be more difficult on the phone right? because right. it's, it's easy to point and click, um, versus the phone. Cause I, I can't the go phone, into the details, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So you're tapping or, you know, small text might be mm -hmm. harder to see things like that. Okay. That makes sense. Spelling mistakes would most likely occur cause I have big fingers mm -hmm. and uh, a small iPhone XR. Oh, Okay. So, yes, we, I would say the mobile would be harder to model. Scrub Kid is asking, what is a normal day for a mod? For me, signing on, saying, or witnessing people go, oh my god, a mod. They would then proceed to dance or use on me. <laughs> and normally we would have some playful banter. Um, in the community, I've got a thing to where I quote unquote bully people and you know, it's, it's a joking matter. And so people come on and we just have a good time. Um, it is a lot of attention. So sometimes I don't really like to go to events regarding people. I've been invited to a few birthday parties and I, I haven't showed up because I don't want to take that attention from them. Uh, next one here is okay. Well, actually this, this person is asking, are we allowed to make web comics for AQ3D? And I mean, the answer is yes. You can make any yeah. content, you know, as long as you're not trying to make money and call it your own or something. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we, we, we really recommend that you actually do express yeah, it's, that. It's and, a way of promoting the game too. So take it to, take it to Twitter and, you know, or, you know, Reddit and, and, and make sure that you mention Artix Entertainment and even tag Artix and Elena. They, they, they may even retweet it. Retweet it. Right, right. This person here, Link Ross, asks, why are you mod guys so awesome? <laughs> so awesome. Well, that is a refresher. I love hearing that. Um, we're awesome because we have an awesome community to back us up and, and hang out with, go. you know? So I think the real question would be, Link Ross, why are you so awesome? Um, they're saying here, Loki Lichen is asking, is it difficult to be a mod what qualifications do you need to be a mod? Let, let's go with the second. I mean, it's, it's the same question, but basically that last part, you know, what qualifications do you need to be a mod? What qualifications do you need? Well, first thing I would say is more so not a qualification, something that you just need in general. And that's to have thick skin because not everybody can be nice. Um, so I would definitely make sure that, you know, you understand that coming into the modding profession. You're going to have people that will not like you no matter what you do or how you are. Okay. Um, as for the actual qualifications, I would say you would most definitely need a hand and experience with uh, customer service. Um, a good grasp of the English language. Um, so we, we tend to, in reports, describe exactly what a person is being muted or banned for um so we can give the precise details to player support so you can be filled in on what you've done so good communication skills and just an overall good attitude would be a great qualification being friendly supportive and helpful so that is pretty much it that is the questions here that i've got for you so thank you very much for your time yeah i'm happy to help and thank you for inviting me on i'm more than happy to answer any more if you ever come down the line and we do a part two for our next guest we're interviewing darkwing he's a moderator for aq3d glad to be here old chap uh-oh what somebody just pulled in my yard 
Uh, glad to be here. Glad to be here. Thanks for inviting me. First question, what is your favorite color? Uh, have to be a color or can it be a food? <laughs> like, I like carrot cake. It has to be a color. I need cake and I like cake and So let's go with cake. Cake is your favorite color. Um, how long have you been a mod? Oh, I'd say a year, probably. Okay. And how long have you played the game before you became a moderator? Well, I started as soon as it came out of closed beta. So what Maybe. is it that you like about AQ3D? The community. Okay. What do you not like about AQ3D? Uh, the community. No, just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like I don't like the hackers 100%. What would you like to see added or changed in the game currently? Well, I think it'd be nice for new players to have access to the travel form. Like not probably 160 speed, maybe just 120 or so. Okay. Be faster than just running. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can I can agree with that. That would actually be better. There's the only way right now, I think, is by purchasing them for like new players to get some. It'd be just by buying them. So um how did you become a moderator? Well, there was an open call for mods, so I put in case. Okay, th that was last year. I, I remember actually when that open call went out. Last question. If you could have one pet in AQ three D, what would it be? Oh, does it have to be a pet or could it be food? <laughs> I, I would I'm prefer it being a pet. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe like five or seven monkeys carrying blades that form a circle around players as they move. Oh, or nice. That or, or, or cake. That or, that or cake. <laughs> okay, awesome. All right, well, that's it for the questions. Thanks for answering the questions. Yeah, that's no problem. The last moderator interview is one of the newest moderators to AQ3D. This is Kazuji. First question, this is from Helimod. Why can't I ban myself? Well, you need moderator privileges for that, I would suppose. And I don't think you can ban yourself as a moderator. Yeah, um, just contact support, I banned myself. <laughs> <laughs> how can aq3 this is from mad how can aq3d mods be accurate when it comes to banning hackers he's asking because he said several players are claiming they were banned falsely all hacking reports are investigated they're, they're also uh double checked the mods are pretty thorough we take our time and make sure that the right people get banned but i mean if if you really think that there's an issue with your account and you are falsely banned, I recommend contacting player support because player they support. will help you out. Right. Uh, this person says, is moderating a volunteer work? Uh, yeah, moderation as well as any of the AQ3D teams besides development are volunteer positions. That goes for the wiki, testers, all of that. So yeah, we're all volunteers. We just do it because we like helping the game and like supporting the community. Okay, so this person, Dad, says why do people get muted for swearing well people do get muted for swearing but it's only when you are personally attacking someone if you attack someone or you use racial slurs or you're extremely vulgar and someone reports you for it it's our job to do something about it we have to action and you know pay attention right. to these reports and okay. make sure that the game stays safe so gen general swearing wouldn't get you muted then it's more if it's directed towards somebody or if it's being extremely vulgar. Yeah, if you're being extremely vulgar, you're being excessive with it. I mean, you know, right. we, we, we check over the reports and we read over them to make sure that we're making the right decision. So Alpha Knight asks, why is every mod and dev having max class rank while AE is nerfing class rank areas? Now, there are some, I've seen some mods that don't have class, max class rank, though. Absolutely. I don't have max class you, rank. You don't have I'm max. I'm still farming. Okay. No, I don't even have all the classes unlocked, actually. So I'm still working on that. And my fishing's like 12. I'm working on getting it to 15 so I can use the next fishing rod. Oh, so, okay. 
Okay. I okay. mean, I do see some developers and stuff that have max class ranks, but you have to understand they're also testing things at certain times too, right? So right. they could be testing, you know. Right. Uh, okay. What what what's your the, opinion on nerfing of class ranking spots? So, um, I feel like sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes you know XP rates are set, and they don't realize that certain methods can be done. You know, and it can be Two the threes. maximum XP. That, right. Yeah, right. the maximum XP that you can get from that in a specific time frame is more than they want you to have because of it. You know, game balancing and reasons like that. Right. Okay. This is an interesting question. Now, this isn't directed towards moderators. This is directed f towards developers. However, he's saying in AQ3D, he doesn't feel that people are being hurt. So he says, can we get an online-based system where people can create or at least vote on polls of what players would like to see in the game? This is interesting because in AQ Worlds, they actually they have... They just added polls. Polls, right. You're right. So... This isn't something that's an impossibility in AQ3D. No, it's this certainly possible. I think could... it would be cool. Um, so here's a question from Kuniho. Kuniho? He says... Oh, hey, there's actually several questions here. Well, this, these will be the last questions. How often are you guys, like, referring to mods online? Well, since I became a moderator, I've been trying to at least be online for a few hours every day. Just chatting with players and leveling up, and then I also like to check reports every day as well. Okay, so how long do you think you'd be working on a weekly basis? I work full time, but when I have time, because I work construction between my breaks, I moderate, and when I'm on my way home on transit, I moderate. <laughs> oh, okay. Is there any way of reporting anonymously? No way, I suppose, when you report it, your name is displayed? Your name is displayed, but I mean, at the end of the day, if you're reporting someone, what if you're reporting someone, the end goal of the report should be, you know, to either stop them from harassing you or from harassing others or stop cheating or, you know, that should right. be the main goal of your report. Yeah. We're and not going to share no your name else, and we don't okay. share any details. That's what I was just going to so, say. So it's not like your name goes but... back to them or anything. Okay, this is the last one here. What is it like working with the other mods and with the AE staff? I think it's really cool. Um, I'm one of the newer moderators, so it's I haven't been doing it too long, but it's been really cool to work alongside them and get to know them and learn from them a bit. I mean, I have a bit of moderation experience from other games and catching botters and hackers and stuff like that, so it's not really new to me, but it's uh, it's been really fun. It's been really nice. And Okay, that's cool. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. All right, thank you. The focus of this video wasn't just to ask player questions to the mods, it was also to showcase the mods as real people. It's really easy to forget that there is somebody else on the other side of the screen. So hopefully this video showcased that and I'm hoping that you got some of the answers you were hoping to receive. I'd like to thank all the guests who were able to be interviewed. And for another similar vid, I'd like to get some devs in for some questions. Is that something you guys would like to see? And was there questions you guys would have liked to have asked the mods? Let me know in the comments below. That is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Keep those swords swinging.